was over crypto muscle come to another YouTube video here we are in a national now worldwide I think it is where it's at crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network come to you in another video all right so let's take a look at this here I mean another week goes by and uh, this worthless trash hex you know just kind of lingers on I know the day's gonna come when it's gonna really, you know, go down the drain. As in, I mean, shit. <laughs> there, there's really nothing going on with this thing. All right. I think people are just waiting to see the outcome of this whole uh, Richard Hart versus a, you know, SEC type of thing that's coming in November. But all in all, though, I mean, all. <laughs> You, you really, it doesn't even matter. The point of it is, is that I think people are just kind of stalling, hoping something good is going to come out of all that because, well, shit, there's really nothing going on with this thing. There's just, it's just trash. Pulse chain sucks. And I'm trying to get you guys to just open up your mind just a little bit that when you open up your mind just a little bit, you realize that, oh shit, you know what? You may be, I am right. You know, maybe Crypto Muscle is right. Because look, all right, Richard Hart screwed you guys over. Because if you go back in time, he did set out to make something that's supposed to be better than than all the different networks that are that there are out there, right? As the Binance Smart Chain set the standard, right? As being top rated use and decentralized applications and exchange and all that stuff because of how fast it is and the low fees involved with it and that's the, the main reason and so he set forth on this mission saying that he could one up Binance Smart Chain now you can't say that I'm not right about that because that's exactly what his mission was, right? He could do it better. But somehow, you guys all got lost in the sauce, all right, that this, you know, he, he I think he really just, you know, blammed your mind and blinged your mind with all the different things that he bought for himself to make you guys realize that, hey, you know what? Maybe he did screw us over because, I mean, really, when you look at it, all right, you got to really look at it. What you got as a product now is nothing compared to what was said in the very beginning, right? So why would you guys want to settle for something that's just barely better than Ethereum? But yet, Ethereum is still widely used. And better utilized than this trash. And so when you look at that, and it's like, man, Richard Hart did really screw us. Well, he didn't screw me because I never got, I never bought into his bullshit. But the point of it is, is that, you know, I, I I couldn't bear myself to sacrifice anything. I just did not see the reason and cause, and I still have no regrets to this day. Of not buying into him, all right, because he was the the sales guy, right? He he sold you guys on this concept. I mean, he reeled you guys in with Hex, right? Hey, and Hex did his thing, all right. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That Hex did it, all right, because part of it was because uh, he, you know. It was such a hype job, and it was something that was needed at the time, you know, bear market timing, all that stuff. You needed some sort of hope, and the timing couldn't have been better to come out with some sort of crypto hope, right? Hope for something different, hope for change. You know, we're in a bear market. Shit, even during, uh, you know, times of uh, pandemic, right? I mean, yeah, it came out this whole uh, concept of, like, sacrifice and all that you know it came out before pandemic but it kind of rode through pandemic as well but it still gave something 
and a reason for hope, right? And a hope and change, right? <laughs> and uh, just something, you know, just something that, to grasp onto, to hang on to, hoping for something better to happen, right? And so when that happened, well, shit, this is what happened, right? The results of it. Hex rose, right? And I never thought we'd even get to a penny, but it rose beyond a penny. I mean, it hit 57 cents, right? And, but not one time I said, oh, man, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. You know, I just, you know, I mean, it came and went, you know? And so only thing is, only the people that sold at the top, if you guys figure that out, because who, who would have figured out that, you know, it would hit 50 cents and, oh, shit, man, this might be the top, right? Or it starts to hit 57 cents. But then as it starts to go backwards, how many of you guys decided to jump off board? Be like, you know what? I think I better just sell because who knows if it's ever going to be like this again. You probably thought there's going to be another wave that's going to push the thing right back up over 50 cents again. And it just never came back, right? It peaked and never came back. Right, it's unlike, you know, I mean, a lot of cryptos, uh, well, I wouldn't say a lot of cryptos. I would say the major cryptos, uh, you know, like the Bitcoin and ETH, you know, have done that, right? But a lot of other cryptos, once it hit its peak, that's it, right? It, it just fades, fades for good. And maybe it's luck, maybe it's something that, that can be brought to the table where, where it would actually pump the price back up to those new highs who knows right there it's very i wouldn't say rare but not very common for crypto to go down and to ride back up again you know to beat its previous highs right a lot of it as soon as it hits its peak that's it, it it's dead like right now hex is dead pulse change shit. <laughs> never had a chance all those, you know, the Pulse X and the Pulse tokens, all that, whatever. None of that really had a chance. It, it just, you know, I think it's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> I know, isn't that funny? It's, it's as good as it's going to get where it's at, which is nothing really. Never ever hit has it hit a penny. And that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> oh, man, that's sad. But all in all, though, going back again. You guys, you know, got sold on some hope, hope and change and all that stuff. We went into a new uh, bull run, right, that kind of ended mid-2022. And the, the timing of Hex, or the timing of Pulse Chain couldn't have been at any worse time that it came, right? It had its chances, right? Uh, especially to me, I think the peak of it all and timing should have been at PulseCon. That should have been the major, you know, drop, bam. But it is proved that the DAP wasn't ready yet. The whole application wasn't ready yet because throughout all that time, these last couple years, there was really no product because you had to go back to the drawing board, quickly put something together off the Ethereum network or forking off of that. In order to come up with something of a product of now what you have, the existing Pulse Chain. And it's like, wow, that's it? And you guys don't seem to realize that. Like, I'm trying to get you guys to wrap your mind around that for a minute. Just think about it. That it's, a, it's on Ethereum network, the fork of that. So if you're forking off the Ethereum network, how is that any better than the Binance Smart Chain, right? But you guys are not really thinking about that. You guys are still lost in the rich of heart sauce. You know, the, the, you know like your, your brain is warped and retarded and just really not processing what's going on here. You guys got to process that. That how is this any better than Binance Smart Chain? Definitely isn't. We know the stats. It's just barely better than Ethereum network. So when you have all that, the results are showing, all right? These are the results showing. Well, we all know that Hex has been going down ever since because 
hex is useless. It, there's no point in having hex around anymore. All right. There's really no point. You know, it, it's useless now. And this is what it's showing, right? As it's gone way down below a penny. Way down. And still continue to go way down. All right. As it's down 10% for the past week. And what? 22% over the past month. Tells you something, right? 90% down over the past year is really telling you something about how worthless Hex really is now. There's no point. There's no point in having it. There's, there's no way it's going to ever pump again. Ever, ever again. No way, ever, is it ever going to pump again to where it was ever going to be. Because there's no point. There's It's really useless to have Hex around now. There's no reason. And then when you look at that, ooh, look at this. It's been riding pretty much sideways. I mean, look at it for pulse chain right and when you look at pulse chain it's been down what four, well, nearly five percent for the week right and you look at what's been going on for the month it's been sideways for the month so you know when you look at it there's truly nothing going on with pulse chain all right and this is the telling story right here as it's down 85 percent in the past year now is telling you that you know you guys are truly brainwashed lost in the sauce to think that there's anything ever going to come out of pulse chain look at this i mean really look at this here there, there's nothing it's really nothing going on it's worthless and to look at it you know there's you know let me go over here i like i like looking at this part here and I got a good comment, by the way, about how this truly is. And it's just it's just so bad, you know. Look at this. 0.41x sacrifice. You know. And then we look over here. Pulse X. 0.108x from a sacrifice. Wow. So for every one, uh, uh, you know, ratio to 3.8. That's it? Man, that's it. So it's really, to me, this is telling stuff when you look at this sort of thing. And there's no really relief in sight that it's going to be any better. Right? Day number 156, and you look at it, and there's really nothing that's really going to say, hey, I, it, there's nothing. I mean, the only way around this thing is to create something better than Binance Smart Chain. But if you're going to have an inferior product, why would anybody want to come to this? Because Richard Hart said it's great? Because it's better than Ethereum? Barely? And you can't argue that it's better than Binance Smart Chain. That's why you don't see those hundreds of projects lining up to jump on Pulse Chain like it was said initially, right? You know how there was like this long line of people waiting to jump on board. and But then now, as soon as it launched, barely anybody, if anybody has even jumped on at all. It's, it's telling you something here that because the product is so inferior and worthless. Because Richard Hart came out with a second rate product and falsely gave you guys hope of something that would have been better than anything else and you had to settle for something that's what third best if anything because when you look at it Binance Smart Chain is still probably top all right Ethereum Networks probably is still the most utilized in terms of if you want to compare to this <laughs> trash and Ethereum Network and then well, that, I mean, she, you could argue Tron Network's better. You know, putting dApps on that. There's just so much better stuff out there. And that's why you don't hear the demand and, oh, man, you know, post, post, you know, post chain, this, post chain, post chain. Because you, you really don't. I mean, the room has gone quiet. You can hear crickets in the room ever since post chain launched because it is nothing.
That's all I got to say. I'll see you in the next one.